Auckland Live, in association with the New Zealand International Comedy Festival, presents warm-hearted and playful show, The Perfect Gift, which promises to have children laughing out loud these school holidays. Justin Hau, also known as Jandal J, is joined by his funky friends for the show, and he's with us now, along with Italia Hunt, who is a funky friend, to tell us all about it. Welcome, guys. Yeah, welcome. Good morning, guys. Nice to have you both here. Uh, Justin, let's start with you. You're a dancer and choreographer. Just been doing a little bit of reminiscing with Mike. Uh, tell us a little bit about your <laughs> career. Oh, far out. Yes, yeah, so um, what, what was the name of that show that we did? Uh, well, we did one that uh, <laughs> TV3 have buried. <laughs> Sing like a superstar years ago. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was a long time ago. That was good fun. Yeah. yeah. And he was uh, dancing in it. Yeah. Yes, and you were starring in it. I was singing. Yes. We're trying to sing. Yes. <laughs> oh, that would have been hilarious. So what else what? have you done apart from that? Um, yes, yeah, so I've done some musical theatre, um, street dance, jumped across some contemporary, and then jumped into theatre, clowning stuff. So, yes. Very, very wide. Yeah. And, you know, I don't, I don't want to get all gushy here, but I would okay. say you are one of my favourite New Zealand dancers. I mean, you've just <laughs> done so much. You've even gone overseas and been... Was it in The Lion King? Were you in The yep. Lion King? Yeah, yeah. So you've had a pretty full-on career. Have you loved every minute of it? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing the same show, like, uh, eight times a week. Nah, yeah, you get over it. Or, or you know, you get over, you'll still enjoy it. It's, it's beautiful. That, that show is really beautiful. Um, but I think just doing something over and over again, got yeah. to try and keep it alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. keep it fresh. Now, Italia, uh, yeah. tell us a little bit about you and your dancing style. Oh, well, my dancing style comes from these guys here. Uh, I'm not so much on the dancing side, but uh, I come from a background of acting. Mm -hmm. So um, I graduated from a drama school called BIPA, also known as the Pacific Institute of Performing Arts. And since then, I graduated and I've been fortunate enough to travel around New Zealand and uh, around the world. Uh, in different theatre shows, musicals, um, been on TV a, a few times. And, and you've just come back from Australia where you've starred alongside RJ Mitty? Yes. The guy from Breaking Bad? Yeah, Band. yeah. So, uh, Stand Up For Sunny, is that Yeah, Standing Up For Sunny. Yeah, yeah so I've, I filmed a, a feature film with them towards the end of last year in Sydney. Um, and that was such an experience. I'm um, getting to work alongside, you know, Walter White Jr. and yes. um, you know a few other stars from uh, the home and away, and um, just seeing that side of things, it, it was like you know really humbling experience that must for myself. Have been incredible. Yeah, it was yeah. awesome, and yeah. um, they put me up in uh, Bondi. On that beach, so mm. was just like a hundred meter walk to to the beach every day. You know, wow. it, it didn't even feel like work. Living, Living the, dream. the Australian dream. <laughs> I was about to say that. Okay, so how did you two come together? Um, cool. So I've been creating shows under different um, theatre companies, but I thought, okay, there's an opportunity here. I'm going to try and put something forward. Um, so this is the third children family theatre show nice. that we've created. Mm. This is the first time working with Italia. Which is buzzy enough because back at drama school he was my tutor and mentor and now you know being on the other side getting to work alongside him you know wow, it's, that's it's a pretty cool <laughs> experience. Eh? Sounds like Justin's been around for a very long time. It's like Benjamin <laughs> Button. <I'm laughs> getting younger as he gets older. Why did you decide why a kids thing? Um, I think when I started creating stuff, it just seems to appeal to kids. I think I could be a big kid too. <laughs> My wife would say so. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. The, the way that we create stuff is through play. Having done that with um, Red, Leap, Red Leap Theatre and the White Face crew, um, that's just the core of how we try and create stuff. Yeah. yeah, and I want to touch on that a little later on. But first, let's find out what the um, perfect gift is all about. So which one of you two would like to describe it? We'll probably do that best. Yeah, yeah, so go, Talia. The, the perfect gift is pretty much about three brothers, myself, Justin, and our other funky friend, uh, Tupor. Um, and it's about our journey, finding a present for the perfect gift for our mother. Right. Um, Good yeah. luck with that. Yeah. yeah. Do you need cash, or do you have to get creative? Oh, we have to get creative. You know, we, we kids, um, we're... We like to make this imaginary world just in our living room. So, you know, we're, we're on that adventure, you know, we're slaying dragons, we're, we're trying to steal uh, necklaces and everything, but it's all using our imagination, but we're actually just in our living room, living you know? Room. Yeah. And that's, that's the thing that um, would relate to the kids as well as to the adults as well, you know? And mm. yeah. um, the biggest thing that we can use is our imagination these days. And sometimes as we get older, we tend to lose that. So yeah. um, having the show, it's, it's good to come back to that and mm. finding the heart of yeah. this well, whole perfect gift. Sometimes we actually forget to use our imaginations, even as children now, because they've got devices and everything. Yeah, it's hard for yeah, them to yeah. actually think outside mm. that, little, mm. that little square box. Yeah. So what about the Jandal J part? Where does Jandal J come into it? Well, I used to break dance in Jandals. 
And so, <laughs> really? my, yeah, and you got to have an AKA name. So I was like, okay, I'm going to be gentle J. Yeah, so you could be Mel. H. Mel H. <laughs> it's a bit of a boring one. It's yeah. a really boring. I could be like we can work. high heel. Yes. <laughs> high, no, that's high not working either. No, okay. okay, I need to work on my stage yeah. name. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously the kids and adults are going to love this show. So is it is it is it a musical or is it a play with dancing? How would you describe it? What have we got? Bit of dance, bit of singing, bit oh. of acting, oh. bit of clowning. Oh. Bit of everything. Yes. <laughs> bit of everything. Yeah, showcasing and all your skills, such a wide range as well. And uh, and you know, honestly, and thank you for everything that you've been doing for dance as well, and for children, <laughs> because it is awesome. This guy does the best robot in New Zealand, I think. <laughs> what was that? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, awesome. Yeah. Hey, thanks, guys, for joining us. Uh, good luck with the show. The Perfect Gift plays at Auckland's Herald Theatre until Saturday. You can check out the Auckland Live website for details.